Hello and welcome back to Toad TV. I am Mary Beth. I am Helen. We are the creative hands and minds behind Toad Hollow and this is a continuation of yesterday's video. It actually is the same We day. even went and put the same clothes on so you would feel comfortable. Um, we are continuing on because now we are trying to decide do we... Yesterday we went through all our cross stitch patterns that we had started and sorted through and decided what we're keeping, what we're going to put away for Christmas and Halloween. We now have a basket that is all Christmas and Halloween. I it's all if, very well organized now. If nothing else, we're getting things organized. Yeah. Um, so these are new patterns that we have that we have to decide, do we want to start with one of the ones that we picked just from uh, the previous video or do we want to start something new? All right, so Olga's Tart by Plum Street Samplers. What do you think? Yay or nay? Uh, not, not right now. Not right now, right? Goes back in the basket. Okay, here we go. Country House Needlework Spring Birds. I love the colors of that one. The colors are really pretty in that one. But no. Okay. You? No. This is Hands On Disease Design. Hands, Hands On, on Design. Disease. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Hands On Design. It's Wild Salt Air. This would actually be perfect for to do to put up down here. Yes. And I love the sentiment. Yeah. Because it's, I, I dream of the sea and the sand and the wild salt air. I really love that. We'll put that as a possibility. Okay. Then we have these three that go together that are Country Cottage Needleworks. We don't have the fourth one, but we have Summer, Fall, and Winter. Summer. Fall. Winter. I like these because I like doing things with words. Yeah. Um, and I like the colors of them. However, not right now. Yeah. All right. Teresa Kogut. Got wool. It's more fall for me. Yeah. And I'm not sure I'm ever going to do that much white. Right. Okay. Madame Chantilly Spring. Oh, my God. Jasmine tea. This may be a possibility. Possibility. Okay, that goes in the possibility. This one may be too, because this is Madame Chantilly Summer Ice Lemonade. I love Madame Chantilly. So do I. Here's Madame Chantilly Summer. <laughs> this is Celebrate Summer. I'm not ready for that one yeah, yet. This so for is me, that's the, not the cake tray. So I'm I'm okay. But I that do one like away. that. Yeah. Uh, here is one of the Jardin Privé's Histoire de Moton. We have four of those. This is a giant piece. Uh, you can see on the back there are, here's, this is this section, but it, you can see how it fits in back here. So it's all meant to be done on one piece. Um, and I know we did get them all. Yeah, here's one that I have the cards, the colors for. Here's two. So we have one, two, three. Four is somewhere. Yeah. So not right now. Okay. Uh, Teresa Kogut, the uh, Prim Spring Rabbit. Uh, not for me. Not right now. Okay. Jardin Privé Chat Pa Chat Pa Pa Chat. This is from our good friend Ray. Eventually, but not right now. Not right now. This is your Christmas present. This is my Christmas present from sister number three. This goes into the possibility of starting pile. The good thing about this is it came as a kit, so it is all ready to go. Yeah, I'm going to switch out the fabric because um, it's 14 count. But other than that, I got this one. Look at the colors. On that. I know the colors are gorgeous. And very much my color palette. So this is a possibility. Um, and this is Rendell Designs. If you were watching us at Christmas. We had the fabric. And then someone gave us the ornament of it. So I, I love, love the Rendell. Stuff. So that will go in the basket as a possibility. Um, I have. I showed you. Um, the cotton one that I have. Or the linen one I have. I have three others. I have a. Uh, I think wool, cotton, and silk. I will do them at some point, but not right now. Um, 
These are the little stitcher. We have Mary Poppins. Remember when I said it could be Mary Poppins? You all knew she was gonna have to show me. Pretty sure it's Mary Poppins. Um, we also have arsenic and old lace. And the Maiden of New Life. That might be a possibility. Yeah, I like that one. That could be a quick one. Yeah. We have August Wordplay. I did July. The Brenda Gervais. We have October and December. I love doing them. Yeah. Um, so that might be a possibility. I'm not sure. Not right now, though, because I'm not feeling August. And then we have the Cricut Collection Welcome from the Cross-Eyed Cricut. Also a possibility. That's a possibility. You could Switch it out. it out. Yeah. yeah, just put it... I mean, it's supposed to be a white pick fence, but put it in something else. Yeah. And do it in a different color. That's not a problem at all. Where are you getting the white pick fence? The way they are. There's lines oh, between it. That. It's oh, supposed okay, to be yeah. a white picket okay. fence. And the way it goes across the top. Yeah. Um, but again, it could be whatever you want. Yeah. So that you could do it however you... Whatever color. What do you think? Yay or nay? I say nay because I think I'll probably... I'm probably going to do one of those. Madam Chantilly's? Yeah. Okay, so what do you think? Let's see the possibilities that we have. All right. So we have the Maiden of New Life. Be a quick little like bowl filler. We have the Christmas scarves, which I think I may just put in for Christmas. Yeah. And start in the summer. I'll put it in the Christmas box. Okay, so then we have the I Dream of Salt Air. Ice lemonade and spring jasmine tea. Hmm. I'm doing spring jasmine tea. Are you? Okay. All right. These it's spring. I'm torn on that one. But it's spring. And if right. I dedicate time to it, I might actually get it done before spring. Okay. I will say, uh, she was torn on the I Dream of Salt, the Sea and the Wild Salt Air. Um, the fact that they have a crab drinking lemonade really makes me kind of want to do this. I'm not sure. I think we will have lunch and decide. Yeah. Okay, so... You got a super long video yesterday and quickie today. <laughs> quickie today. <laughs> Heather, you didn't get her yesterday. Don't put her near me when she's in that mood. Hi, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, so. Mm. Uh, we have already done the introduction. We did our little bit following up as to whether we should pick a new one or whether we should go with one of our old ones. Going and we, through all the existing cross-stitch patterns. Right. So, so you will see that at, before. You will have seen that already. It's um, a new day, and obviously we don't remember what we did yesterday. Not exactly, but mostly. <laughs> so... Do you think that we picked one of our old cross stitches and worked on it? Or do you think we picked something new and started yet another whip? How well do you know us? Let's see, shall you? This is a test. Which I'm sure you all pass with flying colors. Yes, of course. We started something new because really, who wants to do the old stuff? So I started summer iced lemonade. And I, stummer, I, I summered. I summered. I did spring jasmine tea. Both these are Madame Chantilly's um, 
I will link these two down below. Um, yesterday, I did not link to anything. Um, there's a there's a saga on the whole upload situation. <laughs> Besides, just... there was a tremendous amount that we yeah, went through. Yeah, and I'm like, and I'm not keeping like, track of this. Yeah. <laughs> there's there's only so much. All right, we had a question from someone who wanted to know how long it took us to cross stitch like the tree that I was showing yesterday. And here, I will show you. I have started doing lemonade down at the bottom. And I did A, D, and E yesterday, and that probably took me about two hours. Cross stitch is not fast. Not for me. Definitely not for me. Um, I am doing this on... I kept the thing. Hold on. Coloring cotton fabric. It is 16 count Ada and it is called Cauldron Bubble. And her fabric is really, really pretty. Yeah. This is coloring cotton. Sign back up for that. All right. So, so that actually, the, the reason I'm going into this is because somebody did ask us where we got the beautiful fabric from. Okay. And we were part of a club that was coloring cotton and um, she did floss and fabric. And we were both part of it. I like to stitch on Ada. Helen, she would do fabric of a, she does a, she has clubs. So she, right. you get uh, the floss, you would get three flosses? Yes. Each month. I, I, I think each month you got three different colors and then the, you got one piece of fabric and you could decide which size you wanted and which um, fabric, whether it's Ada or linen. Right. I, uh, I was getting the Ada. Helen was getting the linen. Right. And then we stopped it because we were starting to accumulate a lot of floss. Right. And, um, and the linen, she duplicated a couple colors on the linen. Yeah. And we we got a couple of duplicates on the, the floss, too. Yeah. However, none of it will go to waste. No. It, it was, was just, just we starting were, to accumulate. And yeah. I was like, okay, stop. So, but um, I really like her Ada. Yeah. I like her Ada very, very much. So that I would sign back up for the 16 count Ada yeah. to get in new colors because you never know when you're going to want it. I mean, this is a perfect summery color. My, um, I got, I did about an hour's worth of stitching because I was going through the drama of editing our podcast. So I got the chick done because Mary Beth started in the bottom and I started in the top. That's just personal preference. Uh, but my fabric is from Picture This Plus. Um, and we just, this was just, we went in and bought a bunch of fabric one day. Um, so this was, I think it's the colorway Jazz from Picture This Plus. And you can either buy it directly from her or... One, two, three, one, stitch. Two, three stitch sells a lot of her stuff. Yeah. So both of those, um, either joining a club is great if you can do that, where you pay every month and you get a mystery in the ma mail. And that is... Um, it's always kind of fun to yeah. get something new. And when it comes in, you may think, oh, I'm not going to eat that. But then something pops up and we always have found a use for it. Yeah. And I actually, I was doing linen for a while. Um, and I actually, I think I prefer, I prefer stitching on Ada. I like the look of linen. But I really, I don't mind the look of the Ada, especially if it's 16 or 18 right. count. I like the um, 16 and 18 counts. So, um, yeah, I think I'll stick to Ada from now on. So again, that's my chick. And the, the pink is the coxcomb of the rooster because he's sitting on the rooster on the chicken's head. Okay. So cool. All right. So yeah, I started down at the bottom. You can't see the letters terribly well, but you can see them and you'll be able to see them better when I've got the whole thing and yeah. other stuff around it. Um so in person you can see it. it's just not showing up on the camera. Look how much space I left for my finishing page. <laughs> see? Look at that. All that space. Okay. So Somebody else asked why we don't um, cut our fabric. Well, the great uh, big prior pieces. To it, the great big pieces, you can cut it. The thing is, I'm never sure how much it's going to take. And I know it says right on all the patterns how much it's going to take. Um, I've gone by that before, and I've come up short. So I, right. don't, I don't trust people. Um, so also, the great big pieces, when, when I was doing that with the great big pieces, that was two months into stitching i mean i'd only yeah. been stitching for like two or three months so that it was just oh these people that i watched on the video 
do all do the this. things. Yeah. So I did it, you know, and it was just, I was beginning stitching. So now, I mean, this is a perfect size piece of fabric because depending on how much space it takes, I'm probably going to have the top half to use because I started on the bottom. So I probably will have the top yeah. to use for something else. And um, we'll see, you know. That's another great thing about doing the clubs. You get we, it pre-cut, ready to go. Right, and we both stitch in hand. We don't use a hoop. So um, the smaller piece of fabric, you just kind of scrunch it up in your hand, and it's perfect. Perfect, so. yeah. And I really enjoyed it last yesterday. And he's oh, yeah. Good, so. He is. He's very, very cool. No, it was, it was a lot of fun. Um, for those of you that commented, thank you so much for good, best wishes for my knee. Um, it is much, much better today. It actually was, I took aspirin and put it up yesterday afternoon while I was stitching, and that did a tremendous amount it's for it. amazing. Yeah. What an afternoon of stitching will do for you. It just uh, heals crafting. all the ills. Yeah. Um, so it is much better. Um, just a little bit achy right now. I'm just trying to get, you still give it a couple of days yeah. um, before doing long hours standing on it all day. I was going to say, the dye day got pushed off. So. Yeah. All right. Okay. So now we have a couple admin things to go through. First off, Harry Potter. Um, if you're a member of the club, whether you joined in January or you joined in February, all the invoices were sent out Monday. So if you did not get it, please check your spam folders. And if it's not there, contact us because we're going to take the listing down on Sunday night and um, that'll be our final count. Right. So if you find it afterwards and buy it, you will probably more than likely be buying April's. Instead of marches. Instead of marches. So, um, but that's the thing that I was going to say. Um, because it's auto-generated, it may have gone to your spam folder, even right. though normal emails from Toad Hollow come directly to your email. So if you do want it and you haven't found the the invoice, yes, please let yeah. us know because we don't want you to miss out. Yeah, I can always resend it to a different email or just resend it. And um, also, if you have not joined yet and you want to join in starting in March... Those are also open. Um, I'll link to that down below. And again, do it before Sunday because um, Sunday night we'll take the listing down and take our final count. Right. So, All right. Um, the other thing that is coming down Sunday or the other thing that is ending Sunday is if you are doing the brackets, you have to get them in by Sunday. Anything that comes in Monday morning will not be counted. Right. So if you want to be a part of this and have us count your points... You need to get it in by Sunday. If you don't get it to us by Sunday and you want to play along just keeping track of your own points, that's fine. You, We'd love to have you do that. You just won't be involved in, in our the, end and of the, it. And the prizes will be selected from the people who entered a bracket. Right. Um, so, to get, again, I'll put a link down below to get the bracket. To print out the bracket because we've gotten a couple questions. Um, you have to go through the whole checkout process. It's a free download, but you have to go through the checkout process. You don't have to put in a credit card or anything like that. You just have to complete the sale. Uh, and then it'll tell you that the download's ready and you can and it, just download it to your computer and then print it how you would normally print a PDF. Um, to get it back to us, however you want to send an attachment to us, whether it's a picture of what you did or if you, sign, if you complete it online uh, on the computer, you can just email it to us, and it's toadhollownj at gmail.com, and um, I think that pretty much... Right. We did have somebody that. say, how do I do this? Do I pick the one that I think is commercially viable, the most commercial, right. or do I pick the one I love? So we thought we'd do what we did. And I will tell you, based on what's coming in, it's all over the place. It really so is. So I don't know how the voting's going to go. Um, and it's not based on bracket voting. The points are given based on how the voting goes uh, online on Instagram. Right. So it's not, you're going to vote, but then people who are not part of the, who have not filled out the actual brackets are also going to be voting. Whoever follows us on Instagram that wants to join our stories and do the voting will be voting. So, um, yeah, there are a it, lot of people I, that I mean, vote. there are a couple that have gotten, you know, several votes to, for the finals, but it's not like last year where Moonstone just you knew Moonstone was going to win. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be interesting. It's, it's really going to be interesting. Because I had one in mind that I thought would be, and uh, it's not taking off. I mean, it's, it's, got a, it's got votes, but it's not like Moonstone. So, so what I did was I looked at the pairings and just did which one is the one that pops into my head first. 
you know, which one is it? And there were a couple of surprises. I mean, there were a couple of real surprises. I have Molly Weasley going to the final four and Molly Weasley was a mistake. That was not even supposed to happen. And it was, it was a very happy mistake, but it was a mistake. Um, also, there are some like Gingerbread House that got knocked out. So it's like, it's, I'm going to give there you were, my... There were some hard... Yeah, Helen's over there. She's like, how do I choose between this one? I'm like, I'm not <laughs> doing it. I'm not doing it. We also had somebody show us, um, send us a gif with something pulling her their hair out because they had to <laughs> choose between two. Some of these are very difficult. So my final four, I'm going to give you my final four. I'm not going to give you the final two or the one I picked. But my final four are Molly Weasley, A Very Merry Unbirthday, Where the Crawdads Sing, and Flawless, My Dear. And Flawless, my dear, surprised me. Yeah. It really did. It doesn't surprise me. It keeps right. cut. I was doing it, and I was like, okay, between that and that, it's flawless. Between that and that, it's flawless. And all of a sudden, it's in the final floor, four. And I'm like, okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the other one that really surprised me, Wolf went to the the big eight. Oh, really? And I would not have thought that Wolf would have gone that far yeah. with me. But it knocked out uh, Pink Christmas and went to the big eight. Wolf didn't even make it out of the... So, yeah so my I did the same thing and uh on the ones that I just couldn't choose I'm like okay you're standing in a yarn store and you have to pick if you can only buy one skein which one are you gonna buy and then there was one where it was I have no idea I'm just picking I don't know <laughs> just don't know and you trust it out and pay, put in the one that you because was it, not I, your because, first because I thought it the worst one was Crawdad and Bibbity. Why, why universe would you make me choose between those two? <laughs> also, Wildflower and Aurora. Oh, see now for me. Because I did the me, same thing where I picked one and then I the Queen it out of Hearts the knocked out Aurora. Okay. Oh yeah. Aurora. But again, I love Aurora, but the Queen of Hearts beat her out. Yeah. And I would not have thought that. Ah, uh, yeah. It just so. And Wildflower just kept going. But then Aurora, and in the end, I picked Aurora. My final four are Aurora, Un Mary Miriam Birthday, Crawdad, and Hope Springs. So. Okay. We shall see. It's going to be interesting. Yeah. It's going to be very hard. Yeah. This was a stupid bracket. I don't know who put this together. <laughs> I don't know why we did this. Really, really stupid. Okay, uh, somebody had a uh, a comment about how some of them were um, abbreviated, and I did not mean for that to happen. It got cut off. It just read it. As, we, I mean, we printed from the same computer and the same printer, and Mary Beth got full printouts, and mine it abbreviated on. Some I of them. up. I made these bigger. When I printed mine, mine was my first one, so that the, oh, the print okay. is smaller. Okay. So that... Um, so you made mine bigger. So yours was bigger. So okay. I did not realize that every adventure starts begins with a step was just every, which I apologize I for. Why you don't know what that color is. Yeah, yeah, I really apologize for that. I think that was the only one that might have been a real issue. It was... Uh... My reality is the that's reality, yeah. yeah, but that's my reality, so that's not difficult. I think the that every was the only one, yeah, is um, and I'm I'm really very sorry about that. It's um, it shows it just, up on the screen. It just doesn't print. Yeah. So. so anyway, we have our final fours. We have actually taken it down, and um, it's we shall see what happens. Yes. Okay. Both of us pick from the heart. We do not pick. From what we think will sell. Yeah. We just... Um, or win. Or win. We both pick... Um, I learned a long time ago that I will never win that game. Yeah. So I'll just go with what All I All right. Like. So anyway, brackets. Get them in. If you want to be a part of it, get them in. All right. All right. What are you wearing? Oh, I am wearing my boho romance crop in Dinglehopper, who is on the bracket. It is. And he got cut. Very quickly. Not for me. Dingle Hopper did make it a little bit further for me, but not not far enough. I am wearing the Cromwell in potions. I am wearing this on purpose because 
She wants a nice segue. Potions is now back in stock. <laughs> Not only is Potions back in stock, wait for it. We have it in all our weights, including... Da -da -da. Sock, set. sock set. We have Potions in a sock set. So, it will come with uh, the two gold 10 gram minis. That are Acorn Fairy. Right. Um, so... These are now available in the shop. Also, we have Crookshanks as a sock set. So you get Crookshanks and Build a Lizard. He's in a 20 gram mini. Um, so we are trying to go over and have everything dyed in 10 gram minis because we think it makes sets. it easier yeah. for the sock sets, but some of them still have 20 gram right. minis. So Crookshanks and Build a Lizard, beautiful sock set. We have Molly Weasley and Le Rev. And then we have Christmas at Hogwarts with Peruvian Viper Tooth. How cool is that? Yeah. All right, so these are all listed in the shop, ready to go. Right. And uh, we now have, um, because we have enough of them, we now have a sock set collection. So you can go and see all our sock sets all in one place. So, ready. Sock Toad, 80% Superwash, 20% Nylon, both the Mini. minis and the 100 gram screen. Okay. So, all right. Harry Potter sock sets. Talking about socks, cutting in afterthought heels. Saturday, March 13th, 1 p.m. Eastern time. We are going to set up a Zoom meeting. We're going to go. Uh, you are all invited to come. Right. No charge, right, for this? Yeah. No charge. Um, and anybody who wants to sit in on us cutting in afterthought the heels, if you've done it before and you want to just do it with us, that's great. If you haven't done it before and you want to watch us do it first, that's also great. We'll walk you through it step by step. It's not going to take very long. It's really, it's going to be yeah. probably 10, 15 minutes at most of the actual process. And it, then... Because we're not going to knit the whole heel. Right. Because you can knit whatever heel you want once you've done the cutting. It's the so, cutting in. Yeah. And then um, what we'll do is we will sit and chat for a bit while we knit. Right. Okay? So... Saturday the 13th, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Helen's going to set up, or we're going to set up a... In the um, Facebook group, uh, which again, I'll link the, the Facebook group down below. There'll be an event, and then you can just go in and I'll have the Zoom link, which... I'm trying to think. I think last time... No, that was a Facebook room. Okay, the Zoom link should last. Right. Because the Facebook room expired after a couple days. I don't know whether it, it was early. the room or whether it was the post that you put up that expired. No, because it, it was the link for the room. Okay. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so, yeah, we'll put the Zoom link in the event on Facebook. So you can just click in and go. Right. And it'll be like an hour. Okay. So. All right. There's that. Last thing. Uh, we sat and chatted with Paige from Frame and Fiber from uh, the yarn shop that is in Point Pleasant Beach. Um, she's a very good friend of ours. We are going to be doing the New Jersey Wool Walk with her. And it is um, going to be both virtual and in person. We are not going to be there in person. I believe she is going to be open on Saturdays. But we will be doing a virtual trunk show on Friday, April 16th and Friday, April 23rd. Two Fridays, 5 p.m. We'll be doing right. like an hour two hour I'm, I'm not sure exactly how long we've got to finalize the details but um and if you're going in person Paige is going to have um most of our Alice monthly colorways plus uh, a couple colors that we are dying just for her for the Alice right and um well it's not just for her but we're dying it to debut for her right she gets um, to show it or she gets to have it in the shop first. right and then uh, a couple of the mini sets are going to be there. Maybe there. Some of our kits we're for like kits. the yeah, quilt we're shawl. Doing kits, yeah. And for uh, the the Nyx shawl. Yeah. Um. So we'll have a couple of things there. We also will be selling things on our um, through the trunk show. Right. Our website will be open. So if you're planning to do the wool walk and actually go in person, make sure you stop at Frame and Fiber in Point Pleasant Beach. Yeah. Okay. I think that is it for us. Um, oh, quick update on the yard. We have yard 2.0 going say, on. We not only scheduled somebody to come in for the yard, he's here. Yep. And he's got like a quarter of it already done. 
Yes. So, so we he are... plans on having it all done today, and he's just clearing. Yeah. And then we get to do what we want, but we get to start with a clean slate. Right. So, so we're very excited about that. We are optimistic about the yard will be in shape this year. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Alice Garden, it's coming. Yeah. All right. Okay. That Zinnia does it. Quilt. Yes. Uh, blanket, not quilt. Yeah, Sheena's Zinnia blanket. Oh my God. All the things so I want to do. So much to do. All the things I want to do. I have okay. to quit my job. <laughs> this is your job. I'm quitting my job. Nope. You got to knit. To your, you got to knit for your job. If only that were our job right. that we got to sit and knit all day. That would be wonderful. All right. I keep do trying. you guys want to pay me to sit and knit all day? Because if you want to do that, I'm good. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Um, I think you have had quite enough of us this week. Really. Have a wonderful rest of the weekend. Yes. Go forth and create. And we'll see you on Monday. Bye. Bye.